In this video, we'll walk through how to use Plumsail Help Desk Connector for Microsoft Power Automate, an automation tool that helps you manipulate data in Help Desk and integrate it with other applications. We'll build an automatic cloud flow that will collect data from a Microsoft form, create a ticket from it, and notify agents in relevant channels in Microsoft Teams. These are just two of the many apps you can integrate with Help Desk. We'll start off by creating a Help Desk API key, which will connect Power Automate to your Help Desk. If you have multiple Help Desk instances, you can create an API key for each of them and use the connector to exchange data between multiple Help Desk instances simultaneously. Navigate to the Settings page, then go to the Power Automate and API tab and click New API Key. We'll need to specify a description and choose a key type. API key can also be used with the REST API, but since we'll be using it with Power Automate, we'll just specify Power Automate in the description. Next, we'll choose the key type. Read-only keys can only be used to retrieve information, while edit keys allow you to create, update, and delete items. We will select the Edit Type key for our scenario, as our flow will create new tickets in the system. Click Save and copy the secret of the created key. Here's a simple Microsoft form we created. It will collect data that will be used to automatically create a ticket in Help Desk. Let's move on to setting up the Power Automate flow. Navigate to the My Flows tab, click New Flow, and select Automated Cloud Flow. Select the When a New Response is Submitted trigger from the Microsoft Forms connector and click Create. You will be prompted to connect your Microsoft Forms account and choose a form to collect responses from. Now, every time someone submits a form response, the flow will run automatically. To get details for each submission, we will need to add a Get Response Details action from the Microsoft Forms connector. Click New Step and find it. We'll select our form in the Form ID field, and we'll use the dynamic value from our trigger in the Response ID field. Add a new step, and search for the Plumsail Help Desk Connector. We'll use the Create a Ticket action for our scenario. You can specify any name for the connection. For example, you can use the name of your Help Desk instance. Next, Paste the secret of the API key that you recently created and click Create. We'll fill out the form to create a new ticket using the data from the form response. You can fill in the fields both manually and using dynamic values. The form we created also prompts the user to select their preferred method of communication and provide a phone number. We will display this information in the initial comment using the Ticket Body field. If your form also allows users to send attachments and you want to add them to the ticket, you will need to add a few more actions. You can find instructions in the documentation. Our next step is to add a condition that will send a notification to a Microsoft Teams channel when a ticket is created based on its category. Click New Step and search for the Switch Control. We will switch on the category, but you can use any other dynamic value. Let's enter Request for the first case. Next, we'll add the Post message in a chat or channel action from the Microsoft Teams connector. The Flowbot will send a message to the Request channel if the user selects the ticket category as Request. You can also use any dynamic data from the previous actions to compose the message template. You can display both the ticket ID and its subject and any other information. The second case will replicate the first one, but will send a notification to the Incidents channel if the user selects the category as Incident.
Great, let's save our flow and see if it works. We filled out the form and set the category to a request. Let's submit it and see if the notification arrives in Microsoft Teams. Nice, the notification was successfully delivered to the request channel. Let's see if the ticket was created in Help Desk. You can see all new requests in the Unassigned tab. Here comes our ticket. You will find more information in the documentation. If you have any questions, feel free to ask the community or our support.